This year's WrestleMania will be unlike any of the years previous. With it spread out over two days, no fans in attendance due to the ongoing coronavirus outbreak. Now to bring in Chuck Carroll now, our CBS Pro Wrestling correspondent, I want to ask you just about what we can expect for this weekend, April 4th and April 5th, because really this is just a completely different fan experience and completely different experience i'm sure for the wrestler oh i mean you couldn't have put it any better yourself i mean this is what the 36th edition of wrestlemania and it is the first time that it's being spread over two nights it is the first time there will be no fans in attendance and it is the first time that this show has ever been pre-recorded wrestlemania as you and i are talking has already happened it's in the can. And so really they've done a phenomenal job about not letting any spoilers get out. You know, it's, it's all going to be a big surprise, but what I can tell you is speaking with a number of talent this week, that it's more than just a show. WWE recognizes the fact that while the majority of sports leagues have shut down the NBA, major league baseball, postponing the start of the season, the NHL, so on and so on. WWE is still running. And because of that, the talent feels not only a sense of pressure, but a lot of pride in being able to provide a distraction for fans while everything that's happening outside their window and outside their door is so chaotic and so confusing right now. Literally, the whole world is in a fight against an invisible enemy. And that includes the WWE universe and its talent. And so there's really a sense of unity there. And that talent wants to make sure that they can provide a distraction for those few hours in between the bill. Well, and how are these folks going to make WrestleMania feel as big as it usually is? Well, you know, Katie, here's the thing. <laughs> At the end of the day, this is still a show and it is WrestleMania. And it's like Kofi Kingston told me, he said, look, you know, there may not be stands, but we're still going to wow you. This is just, to happen it's wrestlemania you're not i mean kofi kingston nobody in attendance but guess who's still in a ladder match the man who makes ladder matches what they are kofi kingston i'm so looking forward to that smackdown tag title match also you've got the undertaker in action he wasn't on last year's card he's back this year in a boneyard match against aj styles who knows what a boneyard match is but we're going to find out and it's the undertaker at wrestlemania so you know it's going to be epic also epic, the return of Edge. Edge, we thought that his career was over because of a neck injury. Well, lo and behold, who comes back at the Royal Rumble? Oh, it's Edge. And now you've got this super feud between he and Randy Orton. And now Edge's family is involved. It's a whole big thing with two seasoned veterans. You know they're going to tear the house down. It's going to be tremendous. And I know that you love you some John Cena. John Cena, Katie, is also on the card. He's wrestling Bray Wyatt. It's a rematch of their clash at WrestleMania 30. Cena got the best of Bray Wyatt that night. I expect things to be different this go around and for there to be a big celebration at the Firefly Funhouse come Sunday night. Chuck, it sounds like you have lots of matches that you're really looking forward to this weekend. Are, are, is there anything else that you're looking forward to for the show April 4th and April 5th? I mean, I'm curious to see what Rob Gronkowski brings to the table, to be honest with you. This is his, um, you know, second time being at WrestleMania. He got involved a few years back helping out his buddy Mojo Rawley. So Gronk is hosting, but you know Gronk is also training because SummerSlam coming up in August, knock on wood, that that still happens. He should actually be in the ring. That's going to be in Boston. Gronkowski being a former Patriot, it's going to be an amazing night. So what is Gronk going to do? Is he going to start a feud this weekend? I don't know, but I'm looking forward to finding out. All right, Chuck, thank you so much for joining us today. WrestleMania, by the way, again, takes place April 4th and 5th. Pre-recorded, though, we just don't know what's going to happen yet. Chuck, thank you again. And I'm Katie Johnston for CBS Local Sports.